Ministers road show in Bengaluru during the last leg of campaign in Karnataka. As of now, BJP holds 15 out of 24 seats in Bengaluru. Bengaluru is very crucial for the BJP, which is why the party has gone with this massive road show along with the Prime Minister. 13 of the winning candidates are contesting again this year, and to make them win despite the anti-incumbency is not an easy task. Prime Minister Modi's rally was initially planned to be a one-day rally across Bengaluru, but given the traffic situation in the city, the BJP then split the rally across two days to ensure that the traffic snarls do not increase and, in turn, end up annoying citizens of Bengaluru just ahead of polling. Also on Sunday, because of NEET exams, the BJP decided to change the timings. to ensure that the long 36 km rally of prime minister modi across bengaluru does not backfire on the bjp prime minister modi's rally in bengaluru is expected to cover 17 assembly constituencies including baswanguri maleshwaram chamrajpet govindrajnagar and chikpet Some of these are held by Congress currently, and the BJP hopes that the long line of people lining up on both sides of the road, the visuals of these beamed across television channels, will help them win big in Bengaluru, which has 28 assembly constituencies. Throughout their campaign, the Congress has stuck to state issues, highlighting inflation, higher cost of living, and corruption. On the day of the rally Karnataka woke up to Congress ads across newspaper reminding the voters about the allegations and scams by the BJP government in the past 4 years The Congress has timed the ad to coincide with the Prime Minister's rally in Bengaluru to send a message to the voters that the Prime Minister may be reaching out to you but the government is squeezing money out of you